Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Wilhelm Scream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Witch Queen Season of the Haunted Intel. And I have a pretty awesome video for you today. This is going to be a game-breaking glitch. This will allow you to get pretty much everything you could ever want in Destiny 2 free and AFK in a lot of cases. Brief little update, Iron Banner has also returned this week, so if you're looking to get any of the new Iron Banner weapons, to which there are plenty of really awesome rolls on, I would suggest definitely getting into it, and remember that now you can actually increase Iron Banner rep simply by wearing Iron Banner gear and things like the emblems and sigils. But that's not what you're here for today. So, before I get into this game-breaking glitch, I just want to remind everybody, I'm still doing the giveaways on my YouTube channel. Every 1,000 subscribers, we're less than 200 subscribers away from 60,000, which is a huge milestone for me. So you don't want to miss out on that giveaway. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn on the bell notifications that's right next to the big red subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box below. And as always, you can also leave a comment or any of the hashtags listed directly beneath this video in the comments section for another entry for this video. And remember, I do that between all videos, so if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you can always go back, check out another video, and of course, do it again. So in a previous video, I had discussed a really major glitch revolving around our collections. Now I wanted to wait until after reset today as there was an update to see if this had actually been patched. But fortunately for everybody, it has not. And if you haven't seen what I'm talking about, I'm gonna demonstrate it really quick. Last week, it was discovered that through the collections tab, if you go to armor and then down to the leveling tab, and then on the second page in the bottom row, regardless of what class you're on, you'll find this blue set of armor. It has to be the bottom row. It will be different armor depending on what class you're on, but it is always this row of armor. Acquire any piece as many times as you can carry it. So I would suggest clearing out your inventory so you can actually acquire more. Now, in this case, I'm not going to go through how many. I mean, of course, you can require as many as you want. I'm not going to go through all of that. I'm just going to show you what you get when you actually buy these pieces of blue armor. Now they only cost 777 glimmer to buy, but when you delete them, you get some of that glimmer back, but you also get three legendary shards. This is not supposed to happen. This makes it absolutely the best farm currently in the game. It's essentially free legendary shards just for 77 or 777 glimmer. Now, why is this so good? Well, you can use any one piece or any mat, even the lower level ones, if you can get it for free, to then level up to the higher level mats. So, for example, if I go over to Master Raul here, As you can see, you can buy enhancement cores for legendary shards, though there is a better way of acquiring legendary uh, enhancement cores that I will possibly talk about in a later video or maybe even in this one. But you can also buy uh, Ascendant Alloy for legendary shards, even though it's a lot. But when it's free, only costing Glimmer, which is very easy to come by, not bad of a trade up. You can buy enhancement prisms for also 400 uh, legendary shards, which again, normally wouldn't be that good, but when they're free is kind of worth it. Or you can buy enhancement prisms here. Now then you can also trade up to ascendant shards because you'll have enough enhancement prisms. So simply by breaking one little lower level mat like legendary shards, which really are the best thing. They are the base currency for everything. You can then Trade that up into everything you could possibly want as far as materials go. If you run out of Glimmer, head over to, again, Master Raul, and you can purchase it through things like helium filaments or spin metal leaves, 
which usually are available through other mats by buying the planetary materials. Now, unfortunately today, there doesn't seem to be a great trade up, but that's just one day. And on most days, there usually will be some glimmer available simply for legendary shards. So again, you can use this for everything. Now, another great thing about this is every time you delete a blue piece of armor, you will be also leveling up the gunsmith. So this will also give you rolls and other weapons on things like funnel web or any of the weapons you might want. Crate is also really good, but it gives you chances at those as well as more legendary shards. If it's stuff that you don't want, you can always, of course, delete it. Now you can macro this. So you can just literally go to your collections, buy the weapon, or excuse me, buy the armor, and then delete it. If you're on a PC, you can set up a very simple macro to allow you to do this for as long as you want. I've seen some people getting over 10,000 legendary shards. Now, I was really thinking that this was gonna be fixed even the day I found it, but it has not. And if you go by what was said in the patch notes today, it doesn't even seem to really be a priority. So you have at least until Thursday when we get a TWAB, possibly to see if they're going to even change this, but at least another week because most of the maintenance doesn't happen until Tuesday. So today being Tuesday, I doubt that this will be fixed before next Tuesday. This is the best chance to farm out every single material you could possibly want. Now, like I said before, if you're looking for enhancement cores, which is another really great currency as it is the probably second tier up from uh, legendary shards, legendary shards and glimmer kind of being the base materials, enhancement cores kind of being that second tier of materials. Another great thing that you will get from deleting these blue bonds or blue pieces of armor is you will get finest matter weave. This happens every maybe 10 deletions or so. You also get the uh, rainmakers. So you can use this as an easy way to farm up more glimmer if you don't want to buy it for materials or legendary shards on a given day or it's like today and there is no material trade over. Now finest matter weave will drop an enhancement core every time you defeat a yellow bar enemy. And I've covered in the past how there are places specifically on the moon where you can just farm these out over and over again fairly simply. And that revolves around going to the rune chests. Those are the random chests that you acquire from shooting the three corresponding runes in their location. If you shoot the wrong one, however, a yellow bar enemy will appear every single time you do it. So all you would need to do is use one of these right before you shoot the wrong rune. The yellow bar enemy appears, you kill it, and you get an enhancement core. So there's really no downside to doing this. You will be losing some glimmer, but it's minimal. Plus you're getting some back. So if you're not doing this right now, I mean, I know that most people might be playing Iron Banner this week. It is by far the most game-breaking thing I have seen in possibly a year. I can't even remember when there was something quite like this. Maybe revolving around one of the seasonal activities like Solstice of Heroes or Guardian Games. There might have been something like this. I can think maybe a year ago there was something very similar where we were able to just get weapons over and over and over again and we could delete those into legendary shards but nothing so simple as going to your collections tab again armor the leveling second page bottom row and acquiring pieces of armor and just going to town if you're on pc i would suggest trying to get the macro going just for that next level of stuff. But it is pretty awesome. So that's going to be it for all the information in today's video. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful. I can't imagine you didn't because this is just amazing. I did post a video about this, like I said, last week. 
but I wanted to see if it had lasted this long, and I really can't believe that it has. Look for it to be patched possibly next Tuesday. If it's not, oh man, quite the oversight from Bungie, if you're asking me. Personally, I hope it never gets patched. But please do this. I know there's a lot of people out there who just are always short on materials. I hear from you all the time in the comments section. There is really nothing better at the moment. Now quickly, if you would like to see how to farm out the enhancement cores through the rune chests on the moon, I will venture there. But I'm going to say thank you all so much for watching right now. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more Destiny 2 Season of the Hunt content like this and to be entered into any future giveaways. I also want to thank everybody, if I don't post another video before we reach 60,000 subscribers, for all the support over the years. It is really something I never thought that I would get to. Hopefully one day... We'll reach 100,000. That's my, like, all-time goal. Sky's the limit after that point. Everything is extra. Appreciate you being here as always. And, of course, we will see you next time.